green housing, the poultry. Here we think that we don't have to waste any energy, any water, I think, and many more other things which we should preserve. And uh, to make this presentation, let us invite Mr. Anand Ahmed, Managing Director, 360 TSL. Little bit about him. Mr. Anand Ahmed is an international green building expert with US GBC faculty status and five US GBC credentials on new building, existing building, commercial building, homes and neighborhood development. Anta is the only professional in Bangladesh and second in the world. Wow. With US GBC faculty status and five US GBC credentials. He is the principal LED consultant and managing director of 360 TSL. He is a pioneer in green building consultancy in Bangladesh providing a full range of consultancy services to 90 plus companies with 290 plus projects and 43 plus million square feet of construction. He is the leader in training of green building concept in Bangladesh. Till date he has conducted 26 green building workshop and trained 2140 plus professional with basic green building concept and LED rating system 9 LED lead green associate exam pre-workshop and trained 170 plus professionals for US GBC lead accreditation exam. Ananta created and published the first green building sustainable development information handbook in Bangladesh with all the information one need to know about green US GBC and LED created. He has also published green guidelines for all area of building development and management to support architects, engineers, consultants, construction team, projects, managers and owners to understand the green, its cost and benefits and execute them easily as needed. Additionally, he has created a step-by-step -step implementation plan and lead master tracker process and system for smooth US GBC lead certification. He is also the convener of Bangladesh Green and Sustainable Development Council Foundation and creator of My GAP a Green website. So Anandji, over to you. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. A kind of lot of technical information, right? In our brain, if we listen something and do not culture that, we lost 95% of the information on the way out. Okay? So that's why I decided that I'm not going to give you that much technical information at all. But I will share with you where you can find the information if you need something. Okay? It's the deal, right? Okay. And my challenge is to finish in 20 minutes. Usually this training takes days. Okay. So, first of all, I like to say that um, I love to talk about green. Not because it's my profession, because I love to talk about sustainability and green, because it does create profit for your company. If you want to take one line from my presentation today, understand it will give you profit. That's why I say green and sustainability equivalent to profit. Okay? So, I'm going to prove that with the, my presentation that it is going to create profit. The second thing we all know, time is money. So you are giving me 20 minutes time. So if you don't make money out of it, this 20 minutes time is going to be waste. So I'll request you, pay attention, take one or two things and understand where you can find the information to make more money. About me, we only talked about in Bangladesh, we are now consulting almost 300 plus projects, meaning uh, we are able to convince 300 plus project management that green building concept will be profitable for them. Okay. Just to give you a little bit of introduction about me and the green building, there's a five different kind of green building rating system, one for new building, one for existing building, one for interior, one for homes, and one for neighborhood. Who does have knowledge about this five rating system called AP, Aggregated Professional. I happen to be AP on the all five subjects. 
Only 42 people in the world has five credentials to their name. And I'm also a UGC faculty, as you say. Only 92 people in the world has a faculty status. Who is the faculty who can inform people in a better way? They are the, they are the faculty. So the reason because I introduce you on that manner, because everything that I'm going to say after that, it has some value. Okay, and it is factual and I can authenticate that and you can verify it. So going green is a journey, okay? And we just want to be your partner and guide. We talked about a lot of things all day today, from the morning, but if it comes to how you're gonna do it, who you're gonna check it, who's gonna supervise, who's gonna make sure that it happened, this is it, what we come in. We do everything in a way that your entire process becomes sustainable, okay? With us, my company, information is totally 100% free. Okay? So, after today, if you need any information to understand what I just want to explain, you can come to us, write to us, email to us, we'll give you the information free. So, you can make money, like sustainability is profit. How is it going to be profitable? You need to know, right? So, that's only there. So, that's our handbook so we talked about. We have a hard copy and soft copy. Just let us know that you need a copy of this, we'll provide it to you. We also have a YouTube channel with 50 plus videos has different subjects like how to make a better building, how to become efficient building, what is the cost, what is the benefit. So that is the YouTube channel you can go and get more information. Our objective is very simple, zero cost. Zero cost of energy, water, resource, material, health, time and money. So if you don't work, it's become direct profit. Okay, and possible with my experience in Bangladesh that we literally can save 20% plus energy for your company, not for any building as a whole. 20%, 25% possible. And we are doing that. Water savings is also possible 25%. Emission reduction is possible. Waste reduction is possible. The last thing is most important that we, we focus on is called indoor air quality and the productivity of the people. Okay, so green building process also going to talk about health of the people and productivity of the people. Okay, so it's a comprehensive approach. The objective wise, if I go, uh, it will show you how to reduce the establishment cost. Green building process should cost you less than normal building because it's going to go through a lot of analysis, a lot of comparison. LCA, life cycle analysis and everything. So it will help you to reduce your cost. Second, it will show you how to reduce your running cost. Okay? So it will gonna give you, guide you on that. And third, it will give you, show you how to improve your productivity. So these are the three objectives that we work on. Now talk about lead. That's a typo. Any space more than 1,000 square feet can be lead certified, okay? Uh, because my font is not available to their computer, that's why it happened. Anyway, we need it. Lead is the most comprehensive sustainable rating system in the world. And 167 country has the lead project. I'm not going to talk about the number. In Bangladesh, there is 731 projects on the process, 220 lead green building in the Bangladesh. That out of that, 77 is platinum, 125 is gold, 15 is silver, 5 is certified. Meaning it has some value, that's why all these people are going for it. Okay, to me, LEED is the most profitable business management system, if we understand. If you understand, you can let us know, we can come and tell you. Now let's talk about the green building basics. What is the basics? Very few slides I'm going to talk about. First, it will help you to save energy, water, resource. If you save those to four, you save the earth. There's no other way you can save the earth, right? So, and second, it will help you to reduce waste, environmental pollution, carbon emission, and impact on the environment. And third, it will increase your indoor air quality, therefore your health and productivity, and it will all lead to the that's the green building basics. It covers everything. The green building literally now is almost equivalent to ESG. Okay, or impact investment. 
So any sustainability practice you can talk about, this green building concept is almost similar to that. And it's based on the same principle. We talked about it in the morning from Idova that uh, people, planet, profit, same thing, environment, economical and healthy. The most important part of the green building, which we fail to understand sometimes, is have to be economical. If it is not economical, it does not make sense for the business. If business don't survive, green will not survive. So green cannot be expensive, and it is not. Okay. <clears throat> so the people, private profit, we all put the same slide. Now we talk about the benefit. Then we also going to talk about cost today. I'm running fast because you know the time is there, and I'll try to have two, three minutes for uh, question and answer too. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that you save save my breath. I can say. So, increased building valuation, return on investment, asset value, improve employee productivity and satisfaction, optimize life cycle, economic performance, improve bottom line, worldwide marketing advantage. Because green building is based on wall standards. When you have won this certificate, it literally can display that you followed all the wall standard. Okay, the economic benefit. You literally can run with less energy, 20 to 25 percent, even sometimes even more, because we tend to oversize everything, right? Reduce production cost, reduce operating cost, maintenance cost, stuff sickness, water consumption, waste generation. How that you need to really get the handbook and understand it a bit more. In Bangladesh, there is a significant support from the government for the green building process. What is it? It's called green financing from Bangladesh Bank. I don't know if you guys know it or not. Now any building, before it was focused on RNG sector, now any building can get financing up to 50 crore for the building, could be your police storage, and 50 crore for the machineries, which is all the uh, chiller and everything, up to 100 crore at 5%. Okay? Now, on 5% financing, you can get up to 100 crore. If you have now, say, in bank, it is 9%, and you're getting at 5%, that's a 4% savings. That will directly give you 5 crore 24 lakh taka on interest saving itself on 50 crore. If you have 100 crore, it is going to go up to 10 crore taka. The cost of the green building will be maybe 1 crore, maybe based on the size. So if you say invest one crore for the certification and you save around 10 crore from the, uh, what do you call the interest savings, I think that's good business, no? Yes? Exactly. So any anytime you want to build new building, any building, talk to us. Okay? We'll show you how to get that. And there's a tax benefit also. The green building project gets 2% tax discount from the government. Okay, so that is there. And there's some direct indirect uh, benefits I'm going to talk about. This is actual our project benefit. Like in the energy savings, if you see the first project, the shoe factory, different kind of building, it saves 82 lakh taka per year from the energy savings it has from the green building concept. 82 lakh per year. Okay, and then go on and go on and go on. If it's an existing building, there's some investment needed and also there's a savings. So if you say invest 60 lakh and you save around 65 lakhs a year, that's the rate of return in one year or less. So in the economic part of the green building, that any investment that you make in the green building, the ROI have to be less than three years. Otherwise you don't do it. So any ROI is less than three years is the best investment you can make. Who cares about the amount? I put money, it comes back to me three years, after three years I make profit. So I really I really want to put more money into it. So that is really the stake here. Environmental benefit we already know, the energy savings, uh, CO2 emission, water use reduction, solid waste, right? I have this presentation with uh, management, you can have a copy of it and you can uh, go through the details, okay? Water quality we also talked about, 
Heat island effect is very important, especially cold storage. How much less heat gain you have, so you don't have to cold less. Huge, because the most expensive part of the cold storage management is the energy cost, if I'm not sure, right? So the energy cost also come from the cooling system, whatever it is. So if we reduce the heat gain in a way that I require less cooling, of course I can save a lot of energy, a lot of money. So that is what it is. And also the health of the people. Stew reason is very important for especially cold industries because health of the people, they can contaminate the product. Also, if they are healthy, they can, uh, their productivity will go. Okay. <clears throat> also, we talked about the surrounding of the project, improve your thermal acoustic environment, occupant comfort and health, increase staff output, all this we talked about. We also support the local community. How we can reduce the strain on local community, it comes in. It's called green building, but it literally touches every aspect of the building. When you go through the checklist, I'm going to go through that a little bit. And this one certificate is done for all because it follows all this wall standard. Okay, you don't have to know all this wall standard. If you do green building, it comes automatically. Okay. To me, this is the best slide. The green is the right things to do. If I put the lights off when I go out, I feel good. I feel peace because I'm not wasting it. So that is what it is, okay? And every positive action bring more positive to your life. So the process I'm gonna talk about a little bit, then gonna go to the cost. Uh, it's gonna touch on the energy, how to save in all aspect of the building. It's gonna touch on water, how you can save water, all aspect of the building. It will show you how to reduce your emission as a carbon footprint as a whole. It will show you how to maintain the air quality inside as per ASHRAE standard. It will also show you how to reduce the worst, which is one of the culprit of this uh, climate change. And it also, all this wall standard we talked about, we try to touch the nature, create natural space as much as possible. Try to go plastic free, okay, and go for renewable energy if it's possible. Renewable energy is a very good rate of return now, almost almost four and a half years you can get your money. So now there's no reason not to do it, and it goes mostly on the roof, which is empty. Another good thing about your solar energy, if you put on the roof, is reduce your heat gain, big time. Okay, and we give it all the calculation. In building process, will give you a lot of calculation. And also it will come with a lot of plan and policy that you have to adapt to make and run your project better. That's why I call it best management system. All the plan policy that you need to adapt is good for your business, some sort of way. Cost of the lead, again, I'm gonna run a few quick slides to show you uh, it's not costly, okay? There's some prerequisite that you have to do and there's 110 points, right? If you do all the prerequisites and get 40 points, you, you become a first layer of green building called certified. And then you go 50 plus point, go silver, 60 go uh, called gold, and 80 plus is a platinum. To call yourself green building, you can be just certified. To get that Bangladesh finance, uh, bank finance. So you don't have to be any level, right? Now, see this slide, there's some green color, that means there's no cost. Yellow color is consultant will help you to get it done. There is no cost. And the red one is called mandatory cost. And the pink one is has some cost and has good out of uh, rate of return. And the uh, gray one is has not possible in Bangladesh. So we understand this color. This color will explain the cost very simple way. These are all the prerequisites. See, there's only four of them has color. Other red color. Other has no color. Those four is called energy meter, water meter, uh, low flow water fixtures, and fresh air for the indoor air quality. These are the four has some cost. If it's a hundred thousand square feet building, this will be around say five to ten lakhs max only additional cost, right? I've talked about one crore before. Now I'm talking about five to ten lakhs if it's hundred thousand square feet project. Additional cost will be 5 to 10 lakhs, which will give you good energy monitoring system, 
good water consumption monitoring system, good fresh air, and low flow water features. These are the mandatory. Other are planning policy that we have to adopt. Okay? So now there are 110 points. Again, I'm not going to go in detail. This is in my guidebook. You can see. See, there's a point, there's a green, meaning there's no cost. There's some green, some gray, some pink. I'm going to run through the, all this to give you the summary that you need to know. Last slide. These are all the points, okay? Is in my guidebook. So you can see these are the slides that you have to see. The 32 points in green building system has nothing to do with building. It's the location and everything like that. You have to do something, but there's no cost. 23 point is a consultant work. He will give you the analysis and design guidelines and all that and comes from there. So 32 and 23 is 55 points comes without any cost. That means you already silver certified. Okay, you're already energy efficient. You're already water efficient because we guide you don't Right? So you cost for for green building up to silver level or even gold level is very, very minimal. And you're getting all the guidance. And additionally, if you want to go for, say, I want to go platinum and I want to invest some money, then all the rate of return on that investment have to be less than three years. We'll guide you on that. Okay, and you can see in my YouTube channel there's a detailed video on that. I have day long workshop that all video is there too. So you have to go there and find out. Okay, and everything we talked about is based on life cycle cost assessment. Okay, so we, sh we give you the analysis. That is our job to show you option one, option two, option three before you make the decision. Okay, that is the good thing about this game building process. And we do a lot of simulation. And of course, this is what we do. We do energy modeling, we do HVAC simulation, we do light simulation, we do sun path analysis. A lot of things go behind the design process. Okay, and a lot of people get involved. Right? As soon as you become a green building process, there's our, the expert will be involved from our side to support your expert. Right? And then UGBCP also give you the international recognition. Okay. The summary is, Green building do not cost more, rather it costs less than regular building. Green building investment rate of return is less than three years. Any built space more than 1,000 square feet can be league certified. And Bangladesh have expertise and knowledge to support green building movement and process. 12 seconds left. I did. Now the class should be more because I did finish 90 plus slide on Less than 20 minutes. It's not it's 20 minutes. Thank you. And we'll talk a little bit more on, on, on uh, and Thank you very much. Is George already? Can I check? Oh, thank you.